I take uh, two of these, which is like the one a day. The, so I take two of those. Then I take uh, fish oil, shit those. And then I take um, three fourths tablespoon of uh, micronized creatine powder. So I'm about to run today. Um, so I usually don't like to eat a lot uh, before I run or in the morning. Usually I usually eat a lot after. So I got a uh, one of these uh, NutriGrain mixed berry. Um, I put the macros on this. So it's a good source of carbs. Not too much fat. Um, a little protein, and it's super easy and quick. So I usually just eat one of these, and then some water with my creatine in it, and that's basically it. But then I also take those uh, those multivitamins. It's kind of more of just a reassurance. Um, and same with the fish oil. Correct myself. It's actually a three-fourths teaspoon, not tablespoon. So I just take one of these things, and I just keep that in there. Creatine is basically all I take. Um, it's super cheap. This thing was like fourteen dollars, and I got it like a year ago. So it lasts you. Not too bad today. It's like 94 degrees outside. Alright, so I'm on my way. I'm about to head to Meyer Park. Um, there's this little route that I run that's like half a mile, kind of like a loop, so it's half a mile, so I just do four of those, which is two miles, and I start running a lot, um, especially with just these two miles, um, mainly because I'm going to be doing ROTC in college, and uh, the top PT times, if you get under a 15 minute, which I've gotten, that's like 100% for that category, so there's the running, push-ups, and sit-ups, so if you get uh, under 13, that's 100% of that category, and then it's like... 70 something push ups and whatever, but ultimately, with the running time, I'll have 100% in each category and I'll be eligible for the thousand dollar. It's kind of like this, I don't know, they just kind of give you a thousand dollars for having uh, like a really good PT time. So that's kind of like my goal, that's why I do, that's why I'm starting to run. Um, the fastest I've ran is the 12.37. I'm trying to get around 12.30 consi consistently. I've been getting around 12.45 consistently. Uh, another reason why I I'm starting to run more, which I'm gonna keep on consistently doing this. Um, it's also good to stay in shape, but uh, like my overall like life goal for like fitness is uh, to do an Ironman. So I've always uh, wanted to do an Ironman. That's like like the highest. So like I don't know anything above an Ironman that's like on difficulty level mentally and physically. So I really want to do an Ironman within the next 10 to 20 years. I want to do my first triathlon within a year, so those are my those are my goals right now. But I started running, and I've, I've actually started swimming too to increase my lung capacity. But I started running now mainly because of my shoulder, because I tore the cartilage in my shoulder. I did that during uh, wrestling season uh, this past year, um, in 26 the 2015 2016 season. I, I wrestled through it because like the doctor told me when you tear the cartilage in your shoulder, it's kind of one of those things that uh. Like you might not feel, you might not notice, but I did feel a little bit, um, and it got a lot worse after I started uh, lifting. So then I finally got checked out in uh, late May, early June, and then I might go back to the doctor July 5th to get an MRI to see if I need surgery. Hopefully I don't. Um, I just went to the gym yesterday. I'm gonna get a full chest, arms, back workout, like a lot more than what I usually do. But I did it all yesterday, and I had no problems. I'm a little sore today, which is. Obviously, because I've been out for a month, haven't lifted at all for a month. So you guys saw that I weighed in at 140.6. Um, it's kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, I have been out for a month. I've lost like five pounds of muscle. And the fact that I've been running and uh, swimming hasn't really helped the cause. So I was originally around like the upper 145s, like 48s, kind of around there. But now I'm down to like the 140s. Yesterday I weighed in at 139 point something. I'm gonna try to get my weight up. I wanna stay consistently at 145 and that's a good way for me so I can still run and do everything.
Okay, so I just ran a 13.4 uh, two mile. I'll put the route on the screen. Um, it's kind of disappointing. Although I didn't run Tuesday, I ran Monday, didn't run Tuesday, swam Wednesday. And then yesterday I uh, worked out, so. But it's not that terrible. I started on the 13, which is what I want, which, would, which will get me the 100%. But I'm really shooting for that 12.30, just so I have a really good time. Okay, so I just got back from the run. I um, took a quick cold shower. Uh, eat that much right now, but I am going to drink a lot of water. So, I got this cup. That's where I'm going to go in the fall. Well, the next four years, I guess, also. I'm also going to eat this banana. I could weigh it, but I don't really care enough, so I'm not going to. All right, next, I'll have one of these things. We got them at Sam's Club. They have like a bunch. We have like three of these little boxes right here, which had a bunch of stuff in it. But yeah, so I got this thing. Uh, 21 protein, three sugar, 180 calories. Um, in the mornings, especially today, since I'm doing a lot of uh, like, physical activity, I'm gonna run, like I ran, and then I'm gonna go to practice. Um, I'm going to practice just for fun. But um, since I'm doing those things, you know, I'm not gonna eat a lot because I don't wanna puke or anything. Even though I've never been a puker, I can always eat a lot, but I just, I perform better on an emptier stomach. But after wrestling practice, or whatever you wanna call it, I will eat a big portion of my meals. And uh, since I lost my, uh, since I lost my initial five pounds that I gained, um, and I'm down to 140, I'm kind of on my macros. I'm kind of going pretty high, like especially on my carbs and everything. And I try to stay under or around 80 grams of fat, then 300 carbs, and then um, around 180 to 200 protein. Usually, I'm not that high at all but for the purpose of me trying to gain my weight back or gain my muscle back um, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, let's go. Go, come on. Yeah, it's 11.45. Um, and <clears throat> I'm on my way to practice. So when I showed up for practice, I didn't really have any plans on uh, doing anything specifically. Um, David was just there doing some squats, so I just did what he did. Um, this is 250. I did, I think, like two or three sets of just 250 for uh, five reps. So, uh, nothing special here, just 90 degrees, getting good form. I want to do I usually get like a yoga ball because it, it's bigger. So I kind of improvise with a medicine ball and a sandbag. But it works better if you have a yoga ball. Um, and basically just keep your legs at 90 degrees. It's kind of hard since the ball is so low. That's why it works better if you have a bigger ball. But um, basically you want to stretch all the way back with that 25 pound uh, plate. Or I'll start off with 10 for most people. Um, you don't really need that heavy. 25 was actually pretty heavy for me. 
but just stretch all the way back, inhale, and blow everything out at the top right here. So really just focus on your breathing in this one and blow everything out, and then inhale when you're going back. All right, right here, um, you can use anything, uh, like a chair even. Um, but basically, it's the same kind of concept where you really want to control your breathing. And uh, think about it, when you bring your legs in um, and your chest in, that's when you're exhaling and exhaling everything out and really contracting. And then inhale down. And uh, with your feet, make sure, try to think about um, getting your heels to your butt so you're keeping your feet really back. Alright, uh, right here, uh, this is a really good oblique workout, uh, I really like it a lot. Um, same thing, like you'll find a pattern through all my ab workouts that I do, it's all about, you know, my breathing. Um, so right here, inhale, exhale all that out, right when your elbow and your knee meet, opposite knee, opposite uh, elbow, um, pretty simple, and really keep everything squeezed and nice and tight. It's a uh, 2:20, kind of a late lunch, but I have uh, I made this sandwich, which is this bread. It's like some honey oat bread from Kroger. Um, I'll put the macros on the side, um, and then I put this HEB fat free cheese, which is super fucking bomb. The macros are amazing on it. Um, I have one of those, and then I have this. I didn't really calculate it because there's there's really nothing to it, like there's no calories or anything. Um, and then I have some uh, ham, some honey ham. Um, I'll put that on the side also. And then I have this snickerdoodle skinny cow I'll eat also. Um, with some whole wheat rotini noodles with uh, some spaghetti sauce with meat. And then I have this six ounce salmon. We got some pretty good macros. I'll have to get some more because we just ran out. But that's basically what I'm eating for uh, for my lunch, and then I'll have some some water or something. We're out of uh, milk and juice, so I'll just stick to water. It's 108 degrees. That's what it says. I know it's not that high. It's probably around like upper 90s, but still, like in the sun, like that's what it's gonna feel like. It's gonna feel like 108 degrees. Yeah. So I'm about to go to work. Uh, I work from 5 to 11. It's a closing shift, and from the looks of it, it looks like it's gonna suck because it's like freaking, it's toasty as shit outside. It's really hot. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up right here, so. Until next time. I am leaving.